In these slides, we talk about units of energy. And so we've been discussing heat flow. And uh, heat is a form of energy. And uh, we'll be talking about the units of uh, measurement for this form of energy known as heat. Uh, there are two common units. The first unit is joules, and that's abbreviated with a J. And the second unit is calories, lowercase uh, C-A-L is the abbreviation for calories. And out of these two units, you're probably more accustomed to calories because you see the word calorie on every food item at the store. Um, and so we're going to make that connection in these slides. But first, let's talk about the definition of a calorie, lowercase c-a-l. And a calorie is defined as the quantity of heat, so energy, so the quantity of energy required to change uh, one gram of water one degree Celsius. So if you have one gram of water and that changes one degree Celsius, uh, the heat required to make that temperature change is known as one calorie. And so there is a difference between uppercase calories and lowercase calories. And so here you see uppercase calories is actually one kilocalorie, uh, which is equal to a thousand lowercase calories. And so when you go to the store and you look at items, they're actually listed as uh, uppercase calories. So they're listed as kilocalories. So for example, if an item is listed to have seven calories <clears throat> in a serving size, they're talking about seven uppercase calories or seven kilocalories or 7,000 lowercase calories. You can move, uh, you can interchange calories in joules with this unit conversion. And so there are 4.184 joules in one calorie. So let's do two examples of going in between calories and joules and joules and calories. The first one tells us to convert 15 joules into lowercase calories. Notice that calories are all lowercase. And uh, you start this just like any other unit conversion we've been doing with the moles or atoms. You start with a bridge and you put your given in the top left, which is 15 joules. You put it over one. And then you have to reference oh, how many joules are in one calorie, which was on the previous slide which is one calorie equals 4.184 joules. And then on the bottom right, you're going to put uh, the 4.184 joules because that unit joules, you want that to cancel. It's because your given is in joules. And then on the top right, you're going to put one cal because one cal equals 4.184 joules. 4.184 joules equals one calorie. Uh, and then don't forget to cross off your units to make sure that your setup is correct. And so you simply um, take, put 15 in your calculator divided by 4.184, and you end up with 3.6 lowercase calories. The next, the next example, <clears throat> uh, five uppercase calories. So those are kcals. So five kcals convert it into joules. So again, you're going to, just like every other problem, you set up the bridge, you put your given in the, in the top left, so, and you put it over one. And this is going to be a two-step conversion because you need to switch. You need to go from kcals to lowercase calories, and then from lowercase calories, you can go to joules. So you have to say, hmm, how many... Um, how many calories are in one kcal? So you, there's a thousand calories in one kcal, which was on like two slides ago. And then you have to go from calories to joules. So you have to think how many joules are in one calorie. And the answer was one kcal equals 4.184 joules. All right. So then on the bottom right, so you have to pick a side of the equation that has a kcal because you want to have the kcals cancel. And that's the top equation that's in red. That part that's in red is one kcal. And one kcal equals 1,000 calories, which is in blue. And then those will cancel. And if you stopped here, you would end up with lowercase calories. But you don't want to stop there because the question tells you to go to joules. 
So you need to write another bridge. And then you have um, your second equation, one calorie equals 4.184 joules. That's how you're gonna get to joules. And so on the bottom right here, you're going to put um, one calorie because you want the calories to cancel out. And then you're gonna put the 4.184 joules on top of that. And then uh, cancel your units at every step to make sure that you set it up correctly. And so calories, you're multiplying by calories, dividing by calories, those cancel. Then we're left with joules. And so this, you take five, multiply it by 1,000, multiply it by 4.184. And then on the bottom, you just have one. One times one times one is one. And so if you do the computation in your calculator, it's uh, 21,000 joules.